Let's talk about these two special cases of map projections, equidistant and mnemonic. Equidistant means that all points on the map are the proper distance away from one given point on the map. In the example we're looking at here, that would be the North Pole. So if we measure the distance anywhere from the North Pole on this map, the distance would always be the true distance to that point. What you can't do, however, is measure from some other point on the map, like the tip of Florida, to a different point on the map, like the, like, um, the coast of Africa. That would not be the correct distance. But from that one special point on the map, in this case the North Pole, all other points on the map are, are the proper distance away. A mnemonic map projection is a very different thing. As you can see from this display, it looks very distorted, but it does have a very special property. And this property is that all great circles on the, on the globe are represented as straight lines on this map. A great circle is represented by a plane that would pass through the center of the globe or the center of the Earth. So we can see that lines like every line of longitude would actually cut through the Earth and go right through the center of the Earth. There's also one line of latitude that cuts through the center of the Earth, and that's the equator. That also shows up as a um, straight line on this map projection. All of the other lines, all of the other lines of um, latitude, those are not great circles. So as we go further to the north and to the south, those are curved lines on this map because those are small circles, not great circles. Small circles just cut through the Earth, but they don't cut through the center of the Earth, as we would expect with lines of latitude above and below the equator. But if we drew any other straight line on this map, that would also be part of some great circle route that cuts through the center of the Earth. 